societies are aligning to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, electricity will be crucial to this. The energy demand for transport, heating, cooling, industrial processes and other needs will increasingly be met by electricity generated by clean sources. With this in mind, power systems need to ensure that homes and businesses have a reliable and secure supply of electricity when they need it. Today, engineers rely on resource adequacy assessments to make sure there's enough supply to meet customer demand. These assessments, which look out from seasons to decades, use forward-looking projections of available supply and demand to identify potential shortfalls and inform grid planners and operators on investment needs, scheduled maintenance and market design. Probabilistic modelling of generator failures is combined with projections of available supply and demand across different weather patterns to estimate the regularity of supply shortages customers might experience. But the energy fuel mix is changing. Wind, solar and battery storage are increasing, but don't fit the mould of traditional generators. Wind and solar PV are inherently weather dependent, and batteries are energy limited. In addition, greater dependence on weather and exposure to climate change pose additional threats to both traditional and emerging supply resources. And consumers, they are taking a more active role in the system, thus providing flexibility, but also increasing complexity. As the electricity system is changing, how resource adequacy is assessed needs to evolve. EPRI is addressing these challenges through its ongoing R&D including a large, soon-to-be-completed collaborative project that will provide system planners with the tools to modernize resource adequacy assessment. Across EPRI's resource adequacy projects, we have focused on, first, understanding and identifying the scenarios that should be studied, including resource mix, weather and climate. Second, developing and testing models for underrepresented aspects like consumers' flexibility and weather-dependent outages of thermal resources. And finally, assessing system performance, including a new stress test approach to evaluate the response under extreme operating conditions. These new methodologies, applied across a variety of case studies, will help build a more accurate picture of the system's needs. We are working to integrate the methods developed here into existing and emerging software tools and processes. Through our work, it has become clear that the industry needs to adopt additional metrics to better assess adequacy risk in a decarbonized future. We will provide a set of recommendations for the metrics, models and data that should be used. This guidance, together with the tools and methods we are developing through ongoing R&D, will allow practitioners to better adapt resource adequacy assessments for the future. New approaches provide us with a better understanding of the risks faced by future energy systems and enable better decision-making that will help to secure a reliable and sustainable supply of electricity into the future.